In this presentation, we will be discussing orbital lymphoma. Starting with the uh, introduction, lymphoma of the Adenexa constitute approximately 8% of all external lymphomas. The majority of orbital lymphomas are non-Hodgkin's and most of these, about 80%, are of B-cell origin. Those affected are typically older individuals. The condition may be primary involving one or both orbits only or secondary if there are one or more identical foci elsewhere in the body. A substantial proportion of apparently primary uh, lesions will develop disease elsewhere within a few years. The course is variable and relatively unpredictable. In some patients, histological features raise suspicion of malignancy and yet the lesions uh, resolve spontaneously. Um, uh, or with steroid treatment. Uh, conversely, what appears to be reactive lymphoid hyperplasia may be followed by development of uh, lymphoma. Small lesions and those involving only the conjunctiva have the best prognosis. Uh, diagnosis is based on symptom signs and investigations. Uh, the onset is characteristically insidious. Uh, patients you know, usually have an absence uh, of symptom and it is common, but uh, uh, there may be uh, discomfort, double vision, a bulging eye, or a visible mass. Uh, <clears throat> on examination, any part of the orbit may be affected. Interior lesion may be palpated and generally have a rubbery consistency. Occasionally, the lymphoma may be confined to the conjunctiva or lacrimal gland, sparing the orbit. Local lymph nodes should be palpated, but this is Systemic evaluation by an appropriate specialist is required. Uh, the pictures here uh, uh, show involvement of the superior orbit uh, in the top one, uh, causing proptosis and inferior dystopia, while there is anterior lesion in the second picture in the lower one. Uh, now. Uh, investigations include course orbital imaging, usually with the MRI, as it is shown in the picture. Uh, there is uh, axial optic nerve sheath. Uh, 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 <coughs> involvement and it involves, uh, it is also involving the orbital apex in the uh, MRI. Uh, Biopsy is usually performed to establish the diagnosis. Systemic investigation to establish the extent of the disease is also done. Now, treatment is based on radiotherapy, which is used for localized lesions, and chemotherapy for disseminated disease and some subtypes. Immunotherapy, for example, rituximab, is a newer modality that may assume a dominant role in the future. Occasionally, a well-defined orbital lesion may be uh, resected. So uh, that's it with the orbital lymphomas. It's a small topic. If you like the lecture, please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.